The first Monday in March is declared a public holiday in celebration of the anniversary of the birthday of the territory's first chief minister. The late H. Lafferty Stout was born on March 7, 1929 and died on May 14, 1995. Activities to observe the 20th memorial celebration of Stout's passing held on March 2nd began with a procession led by the police, government officials, and representatives from civil society. The march began at the Sunday morning well and concluded with a memorial ceremony at the Central Administrative Building. Sean Rose has more on the observance of H. Laverty Stout's 20th memorial celebration. H. Laverty Stout is being celebrated as the father of this emerging first world nation, though it still remains a territory of Britain. Stout served for over 16 years in political office here in the Virgin Islands. In his early years in politics, veteran politician and leader of the opposition, Honorable Ralph O'Neill, worked closely with the late Chief Minister. We know that um, Honorable Angel Stout did a lot for the people of the British Virgin Islands. You got water, you got roads. He made the schools, public schools, come out of the churches and get into proper buildings. Of course, they have to be kept up, you know, and uh, population increasing, so on and that. And um, build jetties and walls where, where they were needed. And um, several other things he took an interest in and looked after and made sure that the people of the islands were looked after and it also must be considered that money was not so flourishing then. But he had a slogan that we make one dollar do the patch of two. Addressing the 20th memorial celebration of Stout's passing on March 2nd, Premier Dr. Orlando Smith called for a collective approach in pursuit of the BVI's further development by building on the platform established by the late Laverty Stout. Our people want to lead productive, meaningful and successful lives. And it is up to all of us to do our part to make it happen. As we reflect on the personal trait that has made Mr. Stout a member of the BVI hero, I encourage all of us, the proud beneficiaries of his commitment, to take a page from his book and make a difference in this place in which we live. Like him, let us continue to think seriously about forward planning so that we will be ready for the next phase in life, facing the unknown with optimism. Let us continue to make this territory economically and verbally sound, where we continue to move forward improving on what is before us now. Let us continue to diversify this territory by putting our heads together to find the ways and means to remain a sustainable BVI. Let us make more inroads to improve our families, our youth, our homes, and our communities by working together to move ahead organized and collectively. Minister of Education and Culture, Honorable Myron Walwin, says the late Chief Minister would have been pleased with work being done to further develop this territory. He was not a politician that was afraid of the abilities of his people, but rather encouraged it and even inspired those around him to work harder and smarter for the collective advancement of our country. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that this is a true trademark of a leader and a true man of the people. Being the progressive man that he was, I do believe that he would be proud to see the magnificent work that is going on to expand our cruise ship pair, a project that he initially started. He would be proud to see the work that is being done to improve our road network and our switch disposal, building on the work he did to put paved roads in areas that were impassable. He would be proud to see our new modern hospital, and he would be pleased to see our strides to make health care accessible to even the poorest among us. 
You'll be proud to see the advancement of the financial services sector with the opening of the Hong Kong office. He will be proud to see that we now have a state-of-the-art technical high school to give our students the skills and certification to prepare them for jobs in the various technical fields. He would be proud to see that despite the economical difficulties that many countries in the world are facing now, the Virgin Islands is still holding its own, and while we continue to build up the infrastructure of this territory, we are still being responsible by building our financial reserves. And he would be proud to see that we are looking towards expanding our airport so that we can directly service the travel needs of both visitors and residents to connect to the rest of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I have no doubt that Honorable Stout would have been pleased with these things that are being done to move this country forward right now. Minister Walwin also called for the legacy of H.L. Stout to be kept alive. He applauded Chairperson Eileen Parsons and other members of the Hamilton Lavady Stout Commemorative Committee for hosting the 20th memorial celebration of Stout's passing. H.L. Stout was the BVI's first and longest serving chief minister, winning five general elections 1967, 1979, 1986, 1991, and 1995. He served three non-consecutive terms in office from 1967 to 1971 and then 1979 to 1983 and again from 1986 until his death in 1995. He also served as a parliamentarian in the Legislative Council from 1957 until 1967 prior to the adoption of the 1967 Constitution. He was founder and leader of the United Party. He left that party in 1971 and founded the Virgin Islands Party, the VIP. H.L. Stout was at the helm throughout the territory's development as an international finance center and was described as being very passionate and committed to the development of educational opportunities for the people of these islands. At the time of his death on Mother's Day 1995, Stout was regarded as the longest-serving parliamentarian in the Caribbean. Sean Rose, JTV News.